Hi guys, Heeking here, bringing you a One Piece discussion video. It's been a long time since I did a One Piece review or reaction, I think. I think the last one was chapter 1000. But, uh, yeah, I feel like we're getting close towards the end of the Wano arc. I mean, I think we're finally in the final stage of the Luffy vs. Kaido fight, so hopefully the arc will wrap up soon enough. Uh, but before that, I thought I'd make, you know, a nice uh, theory video. Uh, it's a theory I've had for a long, long time right now, I think, I think since this arc started. Uh, so it's been a good two years, and... Every time I've been meaning to do this uh, theory video, and I and I don't. Uh, I've done I've done some messages online, obviously, but uh, I just thought, screw it. Let, let me let me do a theory video. Let me get this theory out there, um, and yeah, and see where it goes, and see what other people think, because it'll, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to do. So yeah, this this theory is regarding how many arcs we have left, and what potential arcs we will actually see going forward after Wano ends. Now, now, of course, this is also discussing what will happen in each of these arcs. So right now we're on one, all right, um, and we're entering the final phase of the fight. But it feels like it feels like that even if Luffy defeats Kaido, we still have to deal with the repercussions of Cipher Pool and the Marines. And now we've got Zushino entering, and then you've got the Gorosei that they want to capture Nico Robin. So I feel like this is an this is an arc that's not gonna end once Kaido gets defeated. I feel like there's a lot of things that are gonna occur. And th th this one isn't really a prediction or a theory, but it it would be kinda drastic if it happened. And it's to do with the fact that what if this arc ends, for example, with Luffy defeating Kaido on on Oni Onishi Onigashima, and Yamato managing to put the fire out, stopping the fire demon that Konjuru sent? But at the last second, you know, everyone's happy and celebrating up there, and at the last second, something happens to trigger the explosives. And the island still gets obliterated, and everyone just has this massive. There, there, there'll, there'll be this moment where everyone just sort of gets, or one of the characters sees what's about to happen, and it's like, oh my god, and they try to stop it, but it happens anyway. And Kaido, who's just been defeated, who is lying down there thinking, oh, okay, you think you've beaten me? No, no, you know, you, you're still going to be in for some hardships, and boom, you know, and he dies in that explosion. Like Kaido will die in that explosion. And, you know, on Onigashima is just going to rain down chunks and pieces, falling down on the flower capital, and Mononosuke doing what he can to save as many people as he can from the debris. And then we just get this aftermath of all the characters just on, on, on the ground, some dead, some considerably very injured, some dying, and in the confusion of all this, chaos... You've got Cypher Pool managing to perhaps maybe kidnap Nico Robin. Maybe, maybe. Or something at least to that effect happens. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like because uh, at, at the time we assumed that this arc would follow the sort of five traditional play arc that I think they do in Japan. And usually people say that Act 3 ends in a tragedy. And so far we're, we've been on Act 3 for a long time. And we haven't ended on a tragedy just yet, so what if that happens? And that will be, be the beginning of Act 4, and it's like, oh my god, chaos and doom. But yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting, like, if maybe that happens. Maybe it won't, but, you know, just consider the possibility that this arc is not going to have a happy ending. So after this arc ends, uh, we, I'm assuming, or at least we all, all are assuming, that the next arc is going to be Elbaf. And if if you look at if you look at like what each arc or character has a has a specific focused arc on, you know, Wanna Cake Wanna 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 Cake Island was Sanji, Wano is Zoro, uh Elbath will surely be Usopp. And I think you've guys have seen some of the theory videos online to do with uh, Mr. Moji, is it, I think, or Mojo, I think. And yeah, he, he's actually said some very interesting things that I think will occur. And that has to do that with, you know, Shanks being heavily involved in the Elbar arc. And that maybe we'll get a Davy back fight. And it's going to really focus on uh, Shanks ha passing the torch officially to Luffy. Uh, now that he'll have defeated at least an Emperor. 
But I also think that Big Mom's arc is going to end in Elbaf as well. I think she'll survive Wano and she's going to come after Luffy to Elbaf because she's got that connection there. And, you know, as that theory video and many others have theorized, I think that's pretty much what's going to happen at Elbaf. Uh, also, keep in mind, Elbaf spelled back is spelled backwards. It's Fable spelled backwards, basically. So I'm assuming we're going to get a lot of sort of Fable-esque inspired inspirations in that Pacific arc. But it, it, it's after this arc, you know, where we're sort of like, where's this going to go next, right? Now, a lot of the assumption is, is that the final road upon a griff will be on Elbaf. This is where I'm going to throw in a little of a prediction or theory here. Now, this is the main big element of this video here. My prediction is, is that the final road upon a griff or upon a glyph will be on the moon. Okay. And what are you thinking? Why on the moon? What? They will go to Elbaf because they'll be probably on the next route after Warno. Uh, or maybe or maybe they get driven there. Maybe Shank sends them a message and says, it's time to meet, come to Elbaf. They deal with Big Mom there. They deal with Shanks there. Usopp finally has that confrontation with his dad after so many years. He finally meets the giants, you know, uh, or the giants that they met very early on in the series. Big reunion. We deal with the whole thing with Big Mom and Loki or whatever that's happening. And yeah, just, just a bunch of crazy stuff is going to happen. And it's not going to be a big arc. It's probably going to be on the same level maybe as, as the Zao arc. Uh, maybe slightly longer, but it's not going to be a big arc. Maybe it'll be an arc that'll run for a year at most. And then of course, we we discover that the role upon the Griff is not on Elbaf, and maybe Shanks even tells him, or maybe the the giants there tell them, like, oh yeah, there needs to be a role polygraph here, but something happened, etc., etc., and it's on the moon. And now the big question, of course, comes to how they're going to get to the moon, which is going to lead to the arc of the Elbaf, which my guess is going to be the Emerald uh, City. Is it Emerald? It's Emerald City arc. If you guys remember, we know Vega Punk is from Emerald City. We know that uh, Smoker and his little assistant uh, are there trying to help the children. We don't know how long, how, how long, how many weeks or days have passed. I think a, a good while has passed, I believe, but maybe they're encountering them there. But my theory is, is that, and this this all depends on whether or not Vega Park actually makes an appearance in Wano. If he doesn't appear in Wano, then 100% we're going to get an arc that's going to deal with the Straw Hats having to go to Emerald City. Because Vega Punk is the only one that can pretty much transform the Sunny into a makeshift spaceship of sorts. Why? Because they need to get to the moon. And the only way to get to the moon is to make that bloody thing fly. So, and who is the most technological advanced person besides Frankie? It, it's Vega Punk. So, they're going to go to Emerald City because they'll have no other choice. Maybe some things will have happened between them. Maybe Nico Robin does get kidnapped or and taken hostage at the end of the Wano arc. And some stuff happens in Elbaf where maybe Luffy recruits uh, or, or comes together with Shanks after their little daily back fight. You know, crazy stuff like that. And then they go to Emerald City. They meet Vega Park for the first time. And Emerald City will be basically, it will take inspiration from the Wizard of Oz, essentially. With Vega Park basically being the wizard. It's going to be heavily inspired by that because, again, you know, em you know, Emerald City, I think, is something that comes from the Wizard of Oz as well. So the inspiration is already there. And he's going to help them. They're going to meet him. We're going to get a bunch of uh, revelations, at least to do with Vegapunk and the Devil Fruits. And he's going to help them because, or, or he, you know, he, he gives them some sort of objective. He tells them, you've got to do this and I'll do this for you. And they agree. And he transformed the Sunny into a spaceship, or at least flyable. And they use it, and they take it, and they go to the moon. And they go to the moon to recover uh, and to find that final road poneglyph that's going to help them get to Raftel. They'll get to it, they'll get it, and obviously, um, you know, either Nico is going to be with them, or something is going to happen, or someone else is going to be there to help them, maybe, maybe make a pump. It will be revealed that he can actually read these, but he's kept quiet about it all these years. Or maybe Nico Robin helps out in some ways, you know, in case something does happen. There's some sort of backup plan, you know, like if anything ever happened to me, here's this. Use this to decipher whatever you find or read from the polygraphs, you know. 
and uh, though I don't think she will, I don't think she will get kidnapped at the end of one. I think it will be important because if this does happen, uh, the biggest thing about going to the moon and finding that rogue poneglyph is also the fact that they have to deal with Enel because he has to come into the story somehow. Like he's been sort of forgotten and his backstory dealt with the moon and he went to the moon. And I feel like the moon is going to have this big presence because not only is it there that helping the Minx transform into the Shulong forms, but I feel like it is going to be important because I feel like uh, not only is it going to be there to, you know, Enel to be served as the villain for that arc. But I also feel like they're going to discover that maybe the Celestial Dragons came from the moon. Because whenever I've seen them, when, when the Celestial Dragons were first introduced, my first thought when looking at them was, these guys look like astronauts. Okay, the, the way they, they wear that containment suit, it looks like a space suit. And this whole talk of them being dragons or gods and defeating the original devils, etc, etc. It makes me think, yeah, what, what if they get to the moon, they find the rope on the griff, uh, they fight an L and then they discover this whole history there and, and they discover that originally the celestial dragons came from the moon and they attacked the earth, the planet, the, the world basically and you know the original, the newses of D were the original ru rulers of the sea of, of, of the planet, of, of the earth there but the celestial dragons, the gods, the dragons, they came down, they brought their wrath and they took everything over and they took control and then they wiped all the history, the void if you will, the void century and that etc etc. I feel like that's going to be a case because why else are they decked out like that? I get it, like you know they want, they don't want to get sick, they don't want to speak, but it's too much of a coincidental, coincidental design choice, do you know what I mean? Like it literally looks like a spacesuit so surely there's some sort of hidden meaning there. So yeah guys, that is my theory, like that after Wano, we're gonna get Elbath, and then we're gonna get Emerald City, and then we're gonna get the moon. And then after the moon, after they defeated Anel, after they've discovered all of this uh, stuff, they get the final road panel gift, they find out where Rafto is, or, or Laugh Tale, they get down there, and they go for it. They go to Laugh Tale, and that, that entire arc, Pacific arc, is gonna properly either deal with Luffy, having to have a fight with Shanks, unless it happens during the Elbaf arc, or it's Luffy and Shanks' you know, crews teaming up and fighting Blackbeard, who is going to confront them there, who is going to find them there, and it's going to be this sort of uh, two-way or three-way fight between them, and you no, know, Blackbeard will get defeated there. He'll get defeated at Laugh Tale, uh, they'll get on there, and that will be the main focus of Luffy's arc. Everything will sort of come full circle, and we'll discover, we'll finally discover every single secret that we ever, that we always wanted to know about. It's all going to click, it's all going to come together, it's all going to come into one piece, if you will. And we're obviously we're going to discover what the one piece is, and whatever happens at Laugh Tale is going to have big, massive repercussions that's going to lead into setting up this final war arc that we will get and uh, i think what will happen and i think i think this is the most realistic thing that will actually occur is is that luffy is going to end up returning to the east blue he's finally going to come full circle he's going to have discovered the one piece he's going to have defeated at least two or three of the uh, of the emperors at this point with one of them maybe allied with him i think if i think if if I had to pick one emperor that he's fought that will ally with him eventually, maybe, it'll be Big Mom. I feel like something will happen. If she doesn't get defeated at 1-0, she's going to have a big presence in Elbath. And something's going to happen there in Elbath. And maybe they'll be able to exit. Because remember, she ate the kids and she ate Mother Caramel. And maybe, you know, that sort of explains the personality changes. So maybe something will happen where they exercise that from her. And her soul, or her original soul, will return to somewhat normal, to sort of the nice, uh, you know, little girl <laughs> that she used to be. And, you know, she comes to that realization and she'll end up maybe joining or being part of Luffy's uh, fleet, if you will, like. And then Shanks will come in as well, but I do think Shanks will die. I think like he's got a, I think Shanks got the, he's got a big secret. And uh, you know, since day one, when I, when I when I was reading One Piece, and we only got these bits and pieces of Shanks, I've always thought you know, red haired Shanks, red haired Shanks. For me, it's a case of older, pretty much spelling out red herring. Like I feel like Shanks is a big red herring. Like the fact that we had that chapter a few few months ago, last year, where where he met the Gorosei, like he's got that. 
he's got that allowance, he's got that connection there. It makes me think there's something up with him that we, we still don't know to this day. Maybe that movie that's coming out uh, that's supposed to be about him or sort of tie in with him will give us some sort of new info. But I've always felt sort of uh, suspicious regarding Shanks. Like, I don't feel like he is an all-out good guy but I also don't think he's an all-out bad guy either uh, I think he's got his own motives and own plans and I feel like Luffy you know he's been sort of grooming or setting Luffy up to be part of this plan either by accident when he ate the devil fruit you know the Goma Goma no Mi, or maybe from the very beginning he wanted someone that at least somewhat resembles Roger and uh, he found that in Luffy and he's been setting him on this path and now it's getting close to that point where it's like okay you know my plan, whatever that I did from years ago, is starting to come together. And yeah, I feel like there's something going to happen. Like something, like a big revelation. Don't know what it will be, but uh, we're getting close to it. I can feel it, guys. Uh, we can all feel it. But uh, yeah, I don't think he's, you know, you know, the good guy we all think he is. There is something up with him. There is something there. We just don't know what it is yet. And like I said, uh, Luffy will return to East Blue. And I feel like we're going to get a lot of reunions, a lot of characters' arcs will finally be completed. We're going to see a lot of returning characters. Uh, we might even see some returning old villains maybe make a return. And this is all going to climax with Luffy maybe possibly saying his goodbyes to all of these people possibly because maybe he's going to his death. And recruiting possibly all of these allies by going, you know, going back. Or in this case, he's going forward anyway. So it's just a case of finally arriving at the start, starting point and starting all over again and getting his fleet together for this final whatever war that will be, whatever is supposed to occur. But yeah, that's my theory guys. The main theory of this is that, you know, you know, Warno is not going to end in a happy way and that we're going to, we're going to go to Emerald City, meet Baker Pug and then we're going to go to the moon for, and deal with Enel there and, and some big revelations and that the celestial dragons come from the moon. And then, yeah, a bunch of crazy stuff is going to happen after that. But yeah, um, that's that's my theory, guys. That's my theory. Tell me what you guys think down below. If you think it's insane. Obviously, it's insane. Again, it's a theory. It's not like, oh my god, this is going to 100% happen. I'm not saying that, okay? It's, it's, it's most likely not going to happen. But it's just something I've been thinking about, like really thinking about. And I thought, let me just put this on video. Let me put it out there. You never know. Maybe it does happen. You never know. Like, One Piece is so random like you know it could you never know do you know what I mean like uh but uh I thought it'd be fun to do so yeah that's my thoughts uh tell me what you guys think and yeah as always guys remember to like and subscribe and yeah I shall see you when I shall see you maybe I will continue my one piece reviews now maybe not we'll have to wait and see how things go but yeah take care guys take care